How's everyone doing today? Today's video is going to be pretty short. Just want to go over a brief overview of what's been done to this white Fuerza here. Because I have everything on separate videos. And uh, today I just want to put it all in one video. Uh, brief description of uh, how we acquired this bike. I used to have a Kawasaki Ninja 1000. Uh, this one's a 600. This one actually used to be my wife's. You can go to previous videos and uh, you can see those. But I used to have a 1000. Uh, my wife always used to complain about this one, saying that it was too heavy and that she couldn't flat foot it. Uh, my wife weighs about 110 pounds, so I understand. Um, so I sold my 1000 and I kept this one for myself. And I got her this one. We bought this one off of a gentleman that had it for uh, a few years um, put away in his garage. We acquired it last year. Um, he had it put away in his garage for about a year and a half or something like that. He bought it. He put about a couple hundred miles on it and uh, put it away. Uh, it did come with that 125cc engine right there. I put a ZS212 in it. Um, I got that ZS212 from Dave Bullock's Shopify uh, store. It did. I paid about a thousand dollars or something like that for it, um, and it got here in like three days, three or four days. I think it got here, which is which was great. Then I stored it for since last year because my wife was running the uh, 125 and she put approximately I think it was 718 miles uh, I do have a sticker there that says motor swapped yeah so 718 miles she put on it um, well she put a couple hundred miles on it not, not the whole 718 718 is what when we swap the engine and uh, someone who's looking to swap an engine, you can literally do this in about a day, one full eight hour day. Uh, this took me two days to do because I started very late, um, very late in the day when I started this little project uh, a few weeks ago, but it literally took me 25 minutes to get all the plastics off took me about another hour to uh, unplug and unbolt that engine uh, and then about another hour to bolt that engine up um, and the reason why I took two days as well it was a two-day build basically but I it was I had to it took a few days but the build actually took two days because I had to buy a new exhaust which that's in one of my previous videos or short um, and what I had to do was I had to cut the original off and I took a section of it and I welded it onto the front just to extend it two inches um, now if you have all this stuff already this will literally take you an eight hour day one full day uh, to do all of this stuff um, I did, uh, before I installed the engine, I did check for the, uh, shift star mod, which what it is, is a piece of CNC steel, round steel that you bolt onto the star. So the paw doesn't come up and then you can't shift anymore. That engine did have it. I did buy it from T-Bolt USA, but it does have it. Um, I did grease the uh, starter chain um, we installed this shift lever right here um, I installed a third motor mount right there from the Honda Grom I did swap out that nut right there one of the mount bolts I do have to swap this one out right here I have to swap that one out. That one is one of the originals. 
Um, I do have them. I just have not swapped it yet. Um, we had a swap. We had to change this uh, clutch cable. We swapped the levers. Um, I did swap the front headlight. I just cut the, the shield from the old lamp so it can cover all the wiring there. These are some basic uh, Amazon uh, mirrors. Um, and before I turn, I kicked over the engine. I did check the the valves. The valves are set. Uh, the valves are set according to Double O Racing specs, which it is three thousandths to four thousandths of an inch. Uh, I have ex uh, intake at 3,000, exhaust at 4,000 because exhaust valves tend to expand a little more. Um, I do have a nibby carb right there. It is set at from all the way in the fuel screw. From all the way in, I just took it out two turns, two full turns. So it's two full turns out, 40 pilot jet 117 main jet is running perfect i did install that petcock there because we need to shut off uh, it does have an ngk iridium spark plug um what else and the build did not i did not have to splice into the wiring the wiring is behind this cover here i did not have to splice into the wiring uh it was basically plug and play for me because this Fuerza did come with a neutral wire. Um, so it was basically plug and play. The only thing I did change was the rectifier down there. Because for some reason when I turned the bike on, the tail lights or the headlights wasn't working. So I swapped the rectifier and it corrected the, the issue. Um... And I think that's about it for right now. I did I did have to swap this tail light, uh, this uh, turn signal because when I was working on the bike, when we were working on the bike, installing the engine, uh, I almost I tipped it o almost tipped it over, and I grabbed the t the light here, and it sort of you know messed it up. So I did have to swap those out, which came out fine because I bought a whole set, and I was able to install these. Um, I did have to fabricate some brackets here to uh, to get it to line up because this one here and this one is the original. So I had a space, you know, create a bracket to hold the whole headlamp assembly. Um, don't make fun of my T-shirt. I have it there because we live it in the we live in the countryside and there's a lot of animals. And one day on this bike. Um, I came out here, I turned on this bike and little nuts started coming out, the little acorns. So I had to take all this, take the exhaust off in the center there and empty it out. So I just started plugging them up, you know, so animals don't stick acorns in, in the exhaust. Um, but yeah, other than that for right now, um, I think that's it. And I also, I forgot to mention, this one has a, the stock, the stock rear sprocket. I don't know what, what tooth, tooth count that is, but I did install a 17 tooth in the front. Um, and this thing is riding great. I did have to swap the battery. This one is a new battery because the battery that was in it died out or it wasn't holding any more charge. Um. You know, unfortunately, where we are, we can't ride for six months of the year, so they get stuck in the garages and stuff. But, um, yeah, that's today's video. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. See you guys on the next one.